Welcome back. I'd like to welcome and introduce now our candidates running for president of the Student Governance Board. To my left is Ms. Asai Hamid and Mr. Solomon Mala. Hello. Welcome, students. All right, I'm going to start our round of questions with Jeremy. All right, candidates, what do you believe is the biggest issue facing Prince George's Community College? Well, first off, I believe that participation is a very large issue. Participation in regards to activities that the campus has to offer and in regards to small things such as getting your ID and um, behavior issues, things of that nature. Because I believe that participation is sort of the foundation for how the students are going to act. Like the men moving forward meetings, if students were to go to that meeting and hear about it and participate in that kind of meeting, they'll sort of get an idea of how to act on campus. If they were to get their IDs, they'd know where to go to hang out, as in the Hollow Tree Student Center, things of that nature. Prince George's Community College severely lacks um, social unity. We lack in community organization. People are in cliques. People are not participate participative. Um, we need to, um, I say, um, basically we're not working, as a community as a whole, we're not working cooperative. We're not trying to, we have no set goals, we don't have objectives, we don't have any sort of determination or we're not driven to actually pursue a goal or pursue um, a standard that Prince George's Community College is, has. Um, education, for an example. People are not driven and pushed to go to class. We're not driven and pushed to receive help in the math lab, to receive help you know, with our instructors and teachers and professors. So I really think that we're not determined, we're not participating enough, we're not acknowledging the fact that we need help. Okay, Neo. Hello, you too. Um, the position that you're applying for fittingly has a, an, accompanying, an accompanying wage. Uh, what particular duties of the president do you feel warrant pay as opposed to other positions? Well, the president position is a very prominent position. It takes a lot of determination. It takes a lot of persistence to actually go out there, find, to develop a plan. Who are we trying to help? What kind of issues are we trying to resolve? How can we resolve those issues? When can we resolve those issues? So it takes a lot for a president to develop a, a plan that's organized, that's set, and that's, you know, out, you know, that's flowing out, you know, to actually do something to help this community. To follow along with what he said, um, everything starts with Prince George's Community College. The people, the fact, the, the fact, uh, excuse me, the, um, the, um, the faculty, the staff, the students, and ends with the president. Everything sort of has to filter through the president before he or she can go to the appropriate people to address those appropriate issues. Um, yes, the um, trustee members, the vice president, can all, anyone can bring something to surface, but the president, it's their duty, their responsibility, along with others, along with the proper people, to act upon that, to make certain, um, to make certain laws and codes solid. So. All right, thank you. And finally, Yemi. Okay, my question is this. Um, if elected into office, what do you intend to do about the lack of communication between the office you're running for and um, the members of the media? Take, for example, the OWL newspaper, which is the uh, student newspaper here on Prince George's Community College, and the students as a whole. How do you intend to bridge the gap and, you know, better communicate between those offices and the student body as a whole? Um, well, like I said before, 
we need to develop a plan. You can't do anything without a plan. You can't do anything without your team. The president is not the only person in the SGB. You have the vice president, you have the SGB board. You need your team, you need a plan, you need, you need communication within your team because you can't do anything by yourself. Yes, we're running for um, the president position, but we, we don't work alone. Um, as far as the newspaper, it would take the SGB, the whole entire SGB. It will also take the whole entire um, newspaper, our newspaper, everybody who's in there, the whole entire committee, even the president, everything. Um, to actually come form together, form together and make a consensus to figure out what the problems are, to figure out what can we do to enhance, um, you know, the, to so resolve those issues that are going on within, the, within those conflicts, within the conflicts that's going on. So it's, it takes both ends. Takes both ends. You can't do it alone. Sorry. Sorry. Um, more specifically, um, to bridge, to build a bridge between that gap. Current updates through via email. Whenever the SGB has a meeting, I believe the Al newspaper staff or certain members of the staff should be present. When the Al newspaper has a meeting, certain members of the SGB must be present. That way, the communication stays fluent. I understand that the SGB members have meetings. Um, probably monthly. I know the president has to attend a variety of meetings and I believe that members of the OWL newspaper or other prominent clubs on campus should be there. That way all the ideas are intertwined and no one is left out within what's going on. What is the SGB doing this month? What is the OWL newspaper doing this month? What are the ideas? That way everyone can just intertwine and get the ideas set. Everyone is on the same page. Um, we could probably even start something where all, not, not, not nothing mandatory probably, but where the president of more, um, most of the prominent clubs have to be present for certain meetings of that sort. We can probably start a whole new meeting altogether with a new name and everything where all the presidents and the editor-in-chiefs come together and discuss what's going on. That way we can keep the communication solid. Okay.